different is how we change our lives and that's how we change everyone else's. What happened was I was failing algebra. I failed algebra, I failed geometry, I failed uh, what, what, calculus and chemistry. And uh, there was this calculus teacher that said, all right, I'm gonna offer uh, calculus tutoring for anyone who's willing to come to the campus during the winter break. And I thought everyone was gonna show up. There was only myself. Wow. And, and I thought to myself, this is such a blessing. And I sat there and I, I picked his brain. I'm like, how, how do I look? What does an integral mean? Uh, what does the, the tangent mean? Uh, what does the instantaneous rate mean? And these are all words for derivative and, and calculus. And I got a chance to sit down with them. And that was the first time ever that I realized I was smart. And when I sat with him, uh, it was amazing because I realized what was stopping me was my own fear. It wasn't, it wasn't anything with my educational aspect. It was me thinking I couldn't do well in mathematics. And when I learned to remove that fear and think, I'm gonna do this no matter what's gonna happen. I may fail it. I may not fail it. I'm gonna do well at this, and I'm gonna just, just see where it goes. I'm gonna put my all into it. We'll find out. And I put my all into it, and I failed. But it, it, something inside of me shifted. I realized, hey, failing wasn't that bad. If I can, if I can like spend a little bit more time at it, I can actually do really well at this. And that was the shift in thinking. I'm like, all right. I'm just gonna spend some more time in it and I'm gonna actually get this. When I overcome my own fear, it was when I was working with someone else and recognizing that the person next to me was the exact mirror of myself. And as if, as I could help that person right next to me, I was helping myself at the same time. And it became this teamwork. Every single person on the campus needed mathematics. And so I got a chance to know everybody on the campus and became one of the most popular people because everyone needed mathematics. And that confidence that was built from taking something that I failed at before and shifting my thinking about it and embracing it to actually create a new reality for myself, that's what empowered me. And that's what allowed me to graduate top of my class, which later on opened up the door to launch rocket. Through a series of events, uh, I learned the power that we have in our, our brain. When I overcame so many challenges when I was launching rockets of being a, a woman and, and being a, one, a person of color in a predominantly area that was different than myself, I had, to, I had to think differently. I had to think, all right, I'm gonna stand out. Everything that I do is gonna have to be twice as good. That's just the nature of it. And I had to change the way in which I was thinking in order to do that. How am I going to be such a contributing force to this environment that whenever I leave, I've made a difference? And when I realized that, and then when I coupled that with the aspect of mathematics, where the same type of math that we use to launch to Mars is the same type of math that we use to literally reshape our own brain, I realized the power of our thoughts. When we are aware of where we are, what we're doing, and more importantly, the decision that we have in front of us. The choice in our thought in a situation, whatever decision that we make in that full awareness, that decision in itself is a fractal moment in chaos that literally changes the brain at that very moment to restructure it inside of your head so you can unleash your power. When you look at how are my thoughts going to align with where I want to go, and you decide, that moment in time where you decide, this is a thought that's going to get me to being a rocket scientist. This is a thought that's going to get me to be a doctor. This is a thought to get me to be a host of my own show. I'm Whatever it takes, I'm going to have all the type of thoughts that's going to get me closer to where I want to go in the future. When we realize that we have a choice in how we think about things, where we have a choice, are we going to be scared about something or are we gonna go for it no matter what's gonna happen? That is when we unleash this power to here.